Z attack proxy tool, which is also called Zap. So here in this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all, we will learn about what is Zap, and then I will show you that how you can scan a website using Z attack proxy or Zap inside Kali Linux operating system. So uh, first of all, you need to open the Kali Linux operating system, and then I will show you that how you can use it. So uh, I'm here at Kali Linux operating system and uh, let me show you where is the sad attack proxy inside Kali Linux uh, so that we can scan a website inside it. So you can click on applications. Inside web application analysis, you can find OSP SAP here. This is a product of OSP open web application security project and uh, it is an open source tool. So there is nothing paid inside this tool like Bob Suite has paid version. But OS Zap doesn't have any paid version. This is open for community. So you can click on that and open this inside your Kali Linux. It uses Java, right? You can see that. First of all, you need to accept and it will open up. Yeah. And uh, it uses Java inside it. Uh, without Java, it cannot run. Right, so you can also use it inside Windows operating system. You need to download it from internet and you need to install Java inside your Windows, then it will run properly because uh, Kali Linux already has uh, Java installed, so you don't need to download anything. First one click, click start. Okay, here it is. So, this is a OSP Z attack proxy, which is also called Zap, provided by OSP. So you can read here about Zap proxy that Zap is an easy to use integrated penetration testing tool. So it is a penetration testing tool, right? For finding vulnerabilities to find out the weakness available in the web application, right? It find what are the weakness available. So you can see here that uh, if you have permission to test the website, then test it. Otherwise, uh, don't try to test the website uh, if you don't have any permission. That's why uh, I generally use the sample website that uh, we can scan it without any permission so it is saying that to, to quickly test an application please enter url here here in this area you need to type the url and click on attack button so again i'm going to use the same sample website that uh, i generally use vulnerweb.com right provided by acunetix company for testing purpose okay so you can type here www.vulnerweb.com and let's try to find out uh, weakness vul or vulnerabilities or it, it also spiders the website so it will also provide you information about uh, what are the URLs available in the website and some other information so without any delay you can click on attack and you can see here that the process has started yeah, let me yeah okay, you can see that it, it is trying it is performing an act active scan in the website right so let me show you that what we got in spider so you can click on spider and here you can see that all the urls all the links available in the website is available here so you can see here that uh, the four websites on the home page of the website is also listed here html5 php asp asp.net right and uh, some other like robots.txt is also showing here that xml page is also showing there this is a just acunetics logo is also available here so this is called spidering spidering means find out all the URLs available in the website. If a website has 500 pages, so in spidering process, it will list all 500 pages URL here. If any hidden information is there, it will also list here. This is called spidering process of a website. If you click on alerts, alerts means the vulnerabilities or weakness available in the website. So you can also uh, click and expand it and you can read about. So what are the vulnerabilities available in the website? You can click here that XSS protection is XSS is not available here because so there is an XSS more cross site scripting vulnerability inside it, right? So these are the vulnerabilities available inside it. So you can read all the vulnerabilities available inside the alerts, right? In active scan, you can see uh, in the URL it is trying different different kind of coding here, right? To uh, find out the vulnerabilities, to find out the basically loopholes available in the website, right? You can see here. So different different kind of queries are inserting inside the website using Z attack proxy. So for example, if you have tried this process 
on a company's website and you don't have a permission so what will happen you can see in their logs uh, you will get basically they will get your ip address right and uh, then you will get in trouble so that's why don't try uh, these kind of tools on a company's website on your friend's website you can try on a testing website or a sample website only all right otherwise don't try so in the history you can how many websites you have tested in the zad attack proxy you will get the list here right you can search here alerts basically the weakness or the vulnerabilities available in the website and what kind of weakness it is for example if it is a medium so it will show you that it is a medium kind of vulnerability so you need to remove it quickly right so uh, you can see here there is low low con too low and uh, one medium we got or right. there is no high vulnerability inside it but too low and one medium is inside it spidering all the urls which is called spidering active scan it will try to insert as many as queries available inside its database to find out something which is hidden which is sensitive here all right it is 100 percent complete so you can see here that in the sites you will see the information about the website here as well right robots.txt page you can right click here and you can also perform run application or attack what kind of attack you need it will perform different different kind of attacks here so everything is available in zap right so that's why if you uh, want to use a free version of the scanning tool then you can use zad attack proxy it is always free and uh, if you are working with a company then uh, obviously the company will provide you the burp suite uh, basic professional version which is paid right uh, both tools are really good you can use anyone here in Kali Linux operating system and in, in Windows you can use Acunetics. Acunetics is really very good tool which is uh, available for Windows operating system so uh, this is all about Zed attack proxy and in the next video I'm going to show you about the reports that how you can create a report and how we can analyze the report created by the tool so thank you so much for your time